U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken is in Beijing for talks on managing tensions, making the highest level U.S. visit since President Joe Biden took office. Blinken landed in the Chinese capital this morning amid frosty bilateral ties between the world's two largest economies. In response to Blinken's visit, the Chinese Foreign Ministry says that it hopes the U.S. worked with China to bring bilateral relations gradually to the track of stable growth. This is also the first U.S. Secretary of State to make the trip in five years. Our Nathan King has more. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken's visit to China is the first by a cabinet official since President Biden took office two years ago. China says it will strongly protect its interests as the two countries look for ways to ease tensions. You mentioned Secretary of State Antony Blinken's visit to China. What I can tell everyone is that during the visit, the two sides will exchange views on China-U.S. relations and major international and regional issues of common interest. China will state its position on concerns on China-U.S. relations and resolutely safeguard its interests. Following other recent U.S.-Chinese contacts, Blinken says he wants to improve relations with Beijing, but the U.S. has continued to carry out controversial patrols through the Taiwan Strait and above it in the air. Trump-era trade sanctions remain in place, but new restrictions on high-end technology imports to China have been imposed. Washington is also pressuring allies to do the same. Nevertheless, Blinken says he wants more communications in a bid to avoid more misunderstandings. The trip has three objectives. First, to establish open and empowered communications uh, so that our two countries responsibly manage our relationship, including by discussing challenges, by addressing misperceptions, and avoiding miscalculations. The issue for China is it is unwilling to accept the U.S. narrative over Chinese national interests such as Taiwan. Beijing believes it is Washington that is trying to provoke a crisis across the strait, while also trying to hamper China's development, especially in the high-tech sector. Beijing, however, says it would like more dialogue between the two biggest global economies. In fact, China's relations with U.S. entrepreneurs and investors are far better than with their political counterparts. Recent visits by Tesla founder Elon Musk and the founder of Microsoft, Bill Gates, were warm and positive over the growing economic opportunities for both nations. In November last year, in Bali, a meeting between President Xi Jinping and his U.S. counterpart, U.S. President uh, Biden, set the tone for a thaw in relations. However, since then, largely because of U.S. domestic politics and their reactions to China, that has proved impossible. Now they hope that this meeting will if not necessarily lead to a thaw in relations, then pull a flaw on the worsening ones. Nathan King, CGTN, just outside the White House.